Ladies and gentlemen, some time ago I did a short video on the EX5's VL tone generator. Well, one of you spotted my Blofeld keyboard and asked me if I could create a breath controlled patch for that, resulting in this video you're watching right now. And I'm really really sorry for the demonstration you'll have to endure before we get to the explanation. Okay, so this video is about emulating a reed instrument, which is a bit more sophisticated than the other more basic sounds I've created so far. A reed instrument has a mouthpiece containing the reed and the body, which is usually a tube crafted from wood. The reed is a tiny blade made of cane or metal. When blown, it creates a sound which is quite similar to a square wave. The tube will sound like a woodwind instrument, which is close to a sine wave. When playing the instrument, the reed's vibration will modulate the tube's sound, creating a complex waveform, which can sound mild or aggressive depending on the player's style. Also, this is a real-world example for frequency modulation or So. I'll use a synth which can do FM to emulate this. Let's go. First, initialize and name your patch. Now, set up the first oscillator. This will emulate the reed, so we'll make it a square wave. I'm tuning it down by an octave. Adjusting the pulse width will make the sound a little bit sharper. Applying an LFO to the pulse with modulation makes the sound a little less static. The second oscillator will be a sine wave, which emulates the body of the reed instrument. As said before, we will set the first oscillator as a frequency modulation source for this oscillator. This emulates the modulation I talked about earlier. Blofeld can use three oscillators per patch. I'll set up the third one as a sine wave too, to make the sound fuller and punchier. Now, let's continue with a low pass filter. It will cut out all the high frequencies. I'll use a 12 decibel low pass filter and set its cutoff frequency to around 100 Hz or the value 40. Blofeld supports filter drive, so let's use that to recreate the rough tone of a reed instrument played very loudly. I'll also use some frequency modulation on this filter, which creates an even rougher texture on this sound. Now adjust the arpeggiator's tempo to the temper of your song. This will also set the timing of the delay effect that I'll add later. Now let's set up the effects. I'll use overdrive on effect 1 and time delay on effect 2. Next, check the LFOs. LFO1 should be a sine wave with a speed of 50. Now it's time to set up the mod matrix, which is the secret source for this sound. 
If you scroll down the source list on the left side, you'll find an entry for breath controller somewhere in the middle. I'll set up five modulations. Each of them will be tied to the breath controller. The important takeaway here is that I'll use different amounts for each modulation. The breath controller will push the volume level of oscillator 1 slightly, but that of oscillator 2 greatly. These two oscillators are chained by frequency modulation. So the sound will transform from a sine wave to a square wave the louder you play. I'll also chain the breath control to noise level, filter cutoff and LFO speed, which adds a breath noise when you play louder. In the last step set all the oscillators levels to zero, because the volume will now be controlled by your breath controller. Well, and that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up or consider subscribing. If you have some suggestions, please write a comment. And as always, thank you very much for watching.